Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brownells here and this week we have some more new product. First up from Mean Arms we have a variety of products. Right here we have their Endo Mag and this is a pretty clever product. It's been out for a little while, new at Brownells. Uh, basically takes a standard P Mag Gen 2 or Gen 3 and converts it to a 9mm magazine. Uh, so this is what you get here from Mean Arms. Took it out of the package already here. Here I've got a Gen 2 P Mag that I just disassembled. It's just the body. Uh, to install you simply uh, slide it right up inside the body. It's a great fit, nice and smooth. Slide the floor plate on, and there you go. Now you have a nine millimeter magazine without having a nine millimeter specific lower receiver. So that's a great cost savings. Pick up a few of these, use your existing lower receiver, get your nine millimeter upper, and you're good to go. So right there, it's got the feed ramp built in. It's got the ejector built in. Really nothing else you need besides those 9mm upper parts and of course your buffer. Uh, really pretty clever. That's new for Mean Arms. And then also from Mean Arms, we have their MA Loader. This is designed for AR-15s and band states that require a fixed magazine. So instead of having to pop open your AR-15, upper and lower, load the magazine, you can use this, which loads via the ejection port. And I'll show you how that works real quick. Holds 10 rounds of 5.56, 223. You can see right here, it's got uh, two dummy rounds there. Uh, and you simply uh, move your thumb forward to load. So I'll, first I'm gonna go ahead and load uh, some dummy cartridges. So you can load up your 10 just like this. I'm not gonna load a full 10 just to save some time here, but you'll get the concept. So there you go, loaded up, ready to go. I've got my unloaded AR-15. Now I have a magazine in place, empty. Uh, in the typical situation for this, this would be fixed. I don't have one here in Iowa. Uh, so you take the mean arms loader with the heel right here, load that first. It's kind of like a reverse rock in, and then you load it. It's in the ejection port. You take your thumb, press down, and there you go. The dummy rounds are inserted. Take the uh, MA loader, pull it out, and there you go. The bolt uh, carrier is released and chambers are rounds. You're, you're good to go. So that's the new MA loader from mean arms. And then rounding out their selection uh, for the MA loader, they have their feed ramp. So this makes it a little easier to load the MA loader into your AR-15 ejection port quicker, faster, nice little accessory slash upgrade. Also new from Mean Arms. From CMMG, we have a nice little upgrade for you guys with PS90s. Uh, say you get the factory FN gun with a 16 inch barrel and you'd like to make an SBR. Well, you could do two things. You could have the barrel cut down by a gunsmith, go through that process, or you could purchase a CMMG 5.7 barrel, which is already ready to go and is very similar to the factory FN uh, barrel. So this is a great way to SBR your FN PS90. It's their short barrel for the 5.7 PS90. New from Brownells, we have quite a few uh, new Glock uh, barrels showing up. Right here we have a Glock 48 barrel. I think this is probably one of the first ones on the market. So if you just picked up one of those Glock 48s, uh, you can get these. We have them available in a standard configuration. And right here we have the threaded half 28. Nitride finish, otherwise standard barrel. It has standard rifling, so you're welcome to use uh, cast bolts or anything of that sort. That's new from Brownells. New from Mod Light, we have a few of their weapon lights. Uh, they fit standard uh, scout mounts. Uh, and they have some really impressive outfit or selection uh, as far as what you can pick from. So right here I have one with the PLH head. Uh, what this means is it has a pretty nice throw and nice combination of brightness. I think it's uh, 650 lumens uh, is pretty impressive and is nice and crisp. It's a nice white light too. You don't get that kind of yellowish tint. Uh, also with each light, you're gonna get a, of course the battery and you get a charger, which is pretty nice. Right out of the box, you got the charger, the batteries, you're good to go. You can swap uh, two batteries as you need and keep it running. So that's the PLH head. Here's the OKW head. Uh, they're vo both available in the different body styles. Uh, and this one has a much longer throw uh, than the standard PLH. This is kind of, the PLH is your standard, like all round general purpose. This OKW has a throw that basically sends this light out 
easy to 400 feet uh, and is of course super bright as well. Again, that nice, clean, crisp uh, lumens. Uh, it's nice and white. You don't get a, a bunch of oddities with it. And it's made in the USA. I should say that for all their products, made in the USA, so you get that satisfaction as well. That's new from ModLight. And then new from Holosun, we have their HE507C-GR. The D GR in the naming convention stands for green, so it has a green reticle, and I'll show you you the uh, reticle here right on the box. It's kind of easier to see than trying to look through the optic itself. Uh, it has a 2MOA center dot, or you can select to add a ring. Within the same dot, it's, you can, it's selectable, uh, so you get that larger ring, really whichever uh, the user prefers. Uh, it has a 50,000 hour battery included, also solar powered as a backup. Uh, one really nice feature I like, it fits standard RMR pattern mount. So you can take your standard RMR off the shelf mount and put it on uh, your setup, or you could put it on a pistol slide, like a brown nose slide, and you're good to go. Uh, also has a few other features. Uh, one really neat one is basically shake it and it will wake up and turn on. You don't have to fiddle around uh, at night trying to find uh, your on off settings. So that's new from Holosun, added to their RMR compatible red dot line or a green dot line. That's new from Holosun. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.